All right, guys, what's up? So I'm gonna walk around here to the front and uh, show you guys what we got going on. We basically added some more piers and the gray bean for the front of the house. They're gonna extend it out here. Just pretty much gonna show you how we got our, uh, our batter boards and string lines set up. So let me turn the camera around, give you guys an idea. All right, so pretty much what we have. Hey, he's working on the last hole back there. We have a batter boards and we have a string line uh, set up here. Each one of these rebars is where it appears gonna be. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six seven eight i think it's going to be one more here as well that's going to be nine we got two working over there and then we're going to have another nine or ten on the other side as well so once we get these these are going to be about 12 feet once we get them in we're going to pour them and then add a gray bean to them as well All right, hope everyone's doing well, staying positive. We're back with another long form video. First off, I want to thank my thousand subscribers that I got over the last month. Definitely appreciate you guys. We've been putting out a bunch of YouTube shorts, kind of going over this particular job. So, right now with this video, everything is included from us framing drilling the piers installing the piers installing the rebar we installed probably over two and a half tons of rebar we fabricated everything on site we poured it we stripped it the framers came in they did their job at the end so you want to definitely stick around i got a bunch of pictures throughout this video that's kind of showing detail work um, that you probably couldn't capture during a time lapse or if i slowed it down uh, you know there have been another five or six minutes added to this video so i do try to keep them short as possible this one is 22 minutes long so it's a little bit longer uh than what we normally do but i think you guys will get a lot of information and a lot of detail and it also shows you the kind of skills that it takes to put a project like this together this is one of those projects where i pretty much was looking at the blueprints damn near every day um, it's a lot of details especially when you're doing foundations you got to make sure everything is square uh, precise the old saying goes you uh, measure twice you cut once i think we measure 10 times and cut once so sit back relax again any questions any comments leave those down below san francisco bay area hit us up sacramento area hit us up our schedule it is pretty full but if you got a nice project you know, we definitely check it out for you guys. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. I will jump in and out of the narrative and let's get into the video.
All right, so building a concrete retaining wall and foundation, the framing and the building of it is pretty much the same, but you do have to pay a little bit more attention when it comes to these foundations because you have to match the existing grade, the existing foundation of the house here. So we had to really make sure we were squared up. Everything was plumb, everything lined up according to plans. We did have to make some adjustments um, with the foundation that was not on the plans, but that's where experience and teamwork comes in at. So if you're in the San Francisco Bay Area, Sacramento area, hit us up. All our information is below. I do have another video coming out uh, of the back. The process is pretty much the same as in the front, but it's a lot bigger back there. And you guys will be able to check that out. I did leave a video link down below where we kind of walking through the backyard and giving you guys a, a job site walkthrough. Special shout out to my son. He's been out here hanging out with us all summer. So he says he like it. Let's see where it goes. Any questions, any comments, leave those down below. Appreciate you guys. Let's get back into the video. It is 22 minutes. So definitely appreciate if you watch it till the end. That's going to help out our YouTube algorithm. All right, so got to give a shout out to the special, uh, the structural engineer. Whenever we had a question, he was able to answer that question in a timely fashion. And if we needed him to come out, he would come out. So definitely appreciate him and all the team and all the team behind the scenes that made this project work. Now here you see us doing the rebar. We fabricated pretty much everything on site. It's about 2.5 tons of rebar. Wherever you see us installing an HFX or a pier, that rebar was a number four, about three or four inches on center. So it was a little bit tight there. So hopefully these drone shots will give you guys a better perspective of what it takes to put um put to put the rebar in. It's normally a simple process, but this one was a little bit more uh slower i guess you'll call it just because of the details from the blueprint so definitely appreciate you guys sticking around checking out these pictures uh again any questions any comments leave those down below i'm gonna let the video ride out All right, just want to let you guys know that I am working on an app and I'm also working on a retaining wall calculator. Um, so I'm working, I guess you'll call this in the beta stage right now. So if you want to be part of that process, DM me uh, down below. I mean, leave a comment down below or you can email me, get a special pricing. I guess you'll call it a Kickstarter, but the app should be out by the end of the year. Uh, first quarter of next year the latest so if you want to be part of that little testing process let me know also working on a retaining wall calculator that will uh, kind of give you guys the cost of what it takes to uh, build one of these retaining walls I did want to throw that out there a little plug for myself a lot of people don't know but I used to have a company called all access networking where I kind of go to 
people houses and network their whole house that was back in the Dreamweaver days. So anybody that knows about those websites and the backslash command, leave a comment below. so when pouring any kind of concrete retaining wall or a uh, concrete foundation or a thick slab you want to make sure you have a concrete vibrator primarily its job is to make sure you knock out any air pockets as you pour so you will use a concrete vibrator when you pour in something thick such as a retaining wall which is normally about eight inches at minimum or a foundation here and i think we're at about 12 inches here so that's an important part of the uh process when you pour in these concrete retaining walls
All right, so I got some requests asking us to show the concrete process of us pouring the concrete in these retaining walls. I guess it's a satisfactory, a satisfaction out there in YouTube land where they like to see the concrete poured. So hopefully this uh, took care of your request and I definitely appreciate that. And if you guys got any other kind of requests, what you want to see in our videos, please leave a comment down below. It is a satisfact. It is satisfacting watching us pour this concrete as I put this together. So guys want to stick around to the end throughout the rest of this video you're going to see a bunch of before and after pictures of this uh particular project and i mean of uh, this particular phase of this project and if you got any questions any comments you can leave those down below san francisco bay area hit us up sacramento area hit us up please watch till the end that's going to help us out with the youtube algorithm appreciate you guys